Hello and welcome back to Lambretta Lutz. So the barrel arrived. Um, that is uh, Polini 303. Uh, should have have a bore of 76, but actually the measuring shows it is 75.5, similar to the 72 bore from the 250 that in the end was just uh, 715. So anyhow, I have different type of webs here with an exeter pin of, um, from you know, old crank, just to make a proof of concept. And uh, actually, I was looking forward to get a 120 millimeter, and uh, I have here the 125 millimeter Conrod for a, a 80 millimeter small pin, but this one didn't arrive. So I had to print it that uh, at least I could step forwards with the uh, heights and calculations for the piston. The piston, by the way, is uh, quite heavy, so with all included rings, pins, it has a weight of, let me see, um, yeah, 350 grams almost. So that is uh, quite heavy. Therefore, the crankshaft has to be rebalanced. So I was testing with uh, different kind of webs, even with the 61. That makes actually with a 4 millimeter Accenter a 65. Original is 62. So, um, but it doesn't work. So it doesn't work with a 120 at all because then the piston button um, smashed smashed here uh, maybe you can see it smashed on the button so I will show you later that so therefore 120 millimeters Conrad is out of discussion so then I was checking the balance factor because of the huge weight and the massive um, 125 Conrad the counterweight should be 107 to have a balance factor between, uh, I would say, 38 to 42, to not go completely into details. With this web, the full cycle web, it didn't work. This one was 11 percentage of uh, balance force, so I can skip that completely, otherwise I have to rework on it. And I had some 60 millimeters web from BGM, because here of this, um, holes on the top and the different counterweights, the factor is already at 30. So it's already not too bad. So what I considered then by measuring the rebalancing that I will put some extra weight here on the outside of the webs with just welding here something on it. And this are additional, additional 32.5 grams that uh, will make the balance factor as I mentioned before. So therefore the overview, you see here standard exhaust will almost fit. You have to adapt this a little bit and to have the piston not touching at uh, 64 millimeters the button of the case. I printed here um, a spacer that I will make from a six millimeter aluminum to have a central central um, flange here on the edge. On the print, unfortunately, because it's just 0.4, uh, it broke on the first test, but um, let me show it um, how it all looks because the interesting stuff is here, if you're looking closer, the case, so here's better to see. So the case opening is different to this from the tour. And by having this flange, I can also use it as an adapter. So the huge boost boards area gets narrower and the transfer ports will be then going to the different shape in this five millimeters. That will be enough to have a nice flow to without any modification on the case. So the only modification on the case is 80 millimeters is for the Simonini kit, and the tour has seven by se uh, 70 by 70. So that means I had to fill them up. And I did it in a very pragmatic way, as uh, Jürgen did it, uh, Jürgen Bosch from Bosch Performance did it on his uh, Vespa build with the tour to uh, 50. He put aluminum threaded uh, um, bolts with GD weld into the holes, 
let it dry. So GB weld on all four. And now I can drill very easily the new positions. And if I want once want to change back and maybe use it as a Simonini kit, then I can drill it out easily, place it new, and fill up the other ones. So good. So much uh, on the upfront talk and explanations. I would like now to show you how is the situation in the upper point and then the lower point when the barrel is fit. Stay tuned. So first I want to show you the situation with a 60 millimeters web, a four millimeter excenter and 120 millimeters of con road. How uh, would the, uh, be the build in situation with a barrel? So you see, So in the first place, it looks not so bad. So it looks really like, okay, with a little bit maybe machining that always also would give the possibility to make the centralizing, as you see it, the diameter of the bottom of the cylinder is not the same like a um, drill um, from the case. So there is 0.8 millimeters difference. So you have to do a little bit of this to have a centralizing of the barrel. But on the top, actually, I mean, would be almost perfect. Here, the area is quite small, you see. So you can see already that, and you see it from both sides. So there is not so much, I would say, gasket area to put it directly. So you may have to put here some GD weld to, um, uh, to make it a uh, proper seal. So yes, it would be from this status quo possible, but now there is a showstopper. So here you maybe can see the showstopper for the easy build with the 120 is that here. Let me show you, wait. So here, there in this corner, you can see there is touching the piston, the case, and that here as well. So it's not much but it is stopping returning, uh, turning the crankshaft with uh, 64 millimeters uh, to the lower depth point. So we cannot check if the post would be completely free, but that it will probably, but so this is not working. So now the situation with uh, one to five, and I will show you. So before I show you the situation with the uh, 125 millimeter, um, con road here with the gasket you see the situation so the faces are very different so and it's not much but it goes here in a situation that this is almost you see there's almost no face so and to avoid that and because um, we have to put now a pick in place anyway I have it designed with this is this side. This side is coming down. No, so this side is going down. So it is covering the bigger boost ports and guide them to the opening of the barrel as well as this side is a little bit larger and has then going into the into the form of the barrel opening. So, and with that, we have then an easy solution of this. The other advantage of the one to five, so you see, even in a below that point, we have still no touching from the bottom of the piston and we have enough clearance. So now let's put the barrel on. And look how the situation looks. Perfect, I would say. The ports are completely free, even a little bit lower. So the barrel is designed for 62. We have 64. So we have a different kind of timing. We have three decompression ports. So the Tor 250 has just two, but I will leave them. And now, the upper death point 
you see is again ideal situation so with that we easily can put the water cooled head on it and the Polini Tor 303 Lambretta engine is almost done. Easy peasy. Well, still some things to do, but uh, not such big complications than you have maybe in different builds. So I hope you like it. Please comment what you want to see in the next video and uh, stay tuned. I will now going to build the crankshaft and finish it with the rebalancing. And well, hopefully very soon, I even can start to make a first kick in and uh, yeah, break in. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like and uh, follow the journey.